Not sure if you guys have checked out the recent boss event leaderboards, but my boy Supreme Avocado has carried me, and I repeat, carried me to number one spot for two player normal and the number one spot for two player elite, and it is super cool to be there. So what I would like to do is show you some tricks I've learned along the way, and trust me, this is gonna be super relaxed. You don't have to worry. And if you saw the recent 2D video, it's gonna be a variation of the same strat that we used to get third place at the time, and we've only been knocked down to 12th from there. So you can use this in one, two, three, or four player and collect some easy rewards that I recommend you guys should all do there's really zero reason to not play ranked guys no one's gonna see you get a thousandth place no one's gonna care if you lose it does not matter the only downside is you can't use monkey farmers but it's really not that big of a deal and trust me that's coming from someone super super lazy so turn on all your monkey knowledge that you have grab benjamin and let's go with this super fun super easy strategy for ranked normal lich leech leash so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop a dart monkey right here and we're gonna place him on last. But before we do anything else, you gotta hit that like button, gotta hit that subscribe button. And in exchange, I'll show you a super cute picture of a penguin that I found. So with this dart monkey on last, we can hit play. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this round kind of roll out in the next one as well. And we're gonna place a Benjamin. I'd prefer to place him in this bottom right corner, but since my big head's there, I'm gonna place him right here in this top right corner and just place it as soon as you can. There we go, we're gonna place him right here and then we're gonna right as soon as we can, we're gonna place attack shooter right here. So not all the way in the corner, you just want it like backed off a little bit because then it'll hit everything in the corner anyway. And what this is just gonna do is just help us out a little bit. We're gonna use our first ability here. We just wanna clean up everything that we can just like so. There we go. Now the trick of this, if you guys didn't know, is just to use like no money possible and save it all for farming and things like that. But since this is the easy, more fun version, we're not going to go super cheap on defense. We're going to make it cheap as we possibly can without being too stressful. And one of the things that stresses me out, let's grab even faster shooting. One of the things that stresses me out the most is seeing that little red ticker up top. So I'm going to probably go more defense heavy than farm heavy. But like I said, this is going to be super easy. It's not by any means like an instant kill of the boss. And this is definitely not what Supreme is using. So do not think that you clicked this video to get the number one race spot. That is for him to release to the world one day. That is not me. This is this is my strategy of little tips that I've learned along the way just to make it manageable that we can actually do this kind of thing. Let's grab our first farm. We're going to place it right here. Let's just get ready for placing later. We need to go all the way to the left and all the way to the bottom. It's not important for tier one, but later on we are going to need that like super precise placement. So just get used to it now. All the way to the bottom, all the way to the left. And as soon as you can get increased production, I would recommend not playing on super speed mode, but I just couldn't take it if I can. Um, every time we do co-op, you have to play super slow. And I'm not kidding, to get that first place run on Elite, it took over three hours, guys. Three hours of me and Supreme and him just telling me exactly what to do even, but just the amount of things that you have to do and prep and it's just, it's crazy. And so I try to just go as fast as I can and just get a decent time, just make myself feel good. Let's use that ability again because we want to clean up all these blues. Oh, that was simple. That was way too simple. We didn't even need to use that ability. Grab greater production as soon as you can. Now, since we're coming up to round 15 and everything, we got our first farm. Let's not greed too much. Let's grab more tax and even more tax. And I think that should cover us to round 15, allowing us to buy another farm. Let's place that other farm pixel perfect right above this guy all the way to the left as much as you can. And we're going to place it just like that. And then again, as soon as you can, grab that great production or increased production, sorry and then greater production. And again, you don't need to be on fast. Usually what I do, because watch this, watch this. We might get a little red ticker. Okay, we got it just in time, good stuff. What I like to do is I'll keep it fast, and then as soon as I get my money, I'll slow it down and then speed it back up. That's just kind of my thing and what I do. But as you can see, it's getting a little overwhelming for us. So we're gonna grab a sniper and put him on first for now. Just leave it just normal, and then we'll change him to strong just like that. And that just makes us feel a little bit safer. We don't have to stress about getting the little terrible red ticker for just like one balloon or anything like that. Let's grab another guy here. We're going to place it just like so. And we're going to again grab increased production. Apparently, it's just muscle memory. I do that every single time. So whenever I click the banana farm, I slow it down. I didn't know I did that, but apparently I do. All right, so we're going to be okay with this. We don't have to use an ability because we do have this sniper. We might get like a little bit of a timer. Yeah, see right there? Two two seconds. That's that's unacceptable, guys. I'm not happy with that. So we're going to have to get the tax spare. That really stresses me out, to be honest. Let's move our sniper back to first because he's not going to hit it. Oh my gosh, sniper, what are you doing? Leave him on strong again. We didn't upgrade in time. Okay, grab another one of these guys. Guys, we just got to like hurry with this farming. So as many times as you can buy a farm, you just got to buy a farm. And that's the most stressful thing about this is the fact that we don't have a monkey farmer and we got to pay attention to the farming. We got to pay attention to all our our defenses, but that's why I'm telling you guys what to do exactly for the defense. So you don't have to worry about it. I know we had to get a little crazy with our sniper right there, but I feel like you guys can manage or worst case scenario, you got like a 10 second timer and it's really not the worst thing in the world. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Like right now, um, I'm gonna actually 
we're good, we're good. We don't need to move it to first or anything like that, but we do need some camo. So let's buy some night vision goggles. There you go, just like that. Super easy stuff, not stressful at all. Now, I don't think we're gonna have enough to like actually defend efficiently here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a cool little wizard just right here. We're gonna go like this, wall of fire, just like that. We'll grab intense magic and heck, let's just grab monkey sense too. I know we don't need it till 33, but I don't wanna mess around here. We don't wanna lose. So let's grab this guy right here. Now we have six farms, that is pretty awesome. I'm gonna go for, let's go for seven farms, right? Do you guys wanna do seven farms or you wanna do eight farms? So we're gonna put a seventh farm right here just to feel good about it. So what's really cool about this strategy and the way to defend it, it does cost a little more. We could definitely do it cheaper, but I like it because the only thing this guy can't stop from here to like to 39 is the purples. So this guy tears up the purples. Now they're just, they, they're simpatico and we're all good to go. Let's grab easy collect and we'll grab the marketplace. Now for this, I would recommend we could actually use a village to try to make this a little cheaper. We'd save 500 bucks per farm, which on the next time we will do it. But for this one, we're just gonna, again, keep it simple, but we're gonna step up our game on that next one and make it super cheap and super fun. And you guys will see, and it's really, it's really kind of exciting the progression that we're gonna get and how much more money you're gonna get each time. It's really kind of fun. So just keep doing what I'm doing. Upgrade to easy collect, banana salvage, marketplace, the whole shebang, and just watch this little fire monkey just take down everything, which is really, really, really cool. So unfortunately this does happen sometimes it doesn't happen every time but it's a good lesson to learn so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the gear button and what happens on 36 is the little flame monkey decides that he doesn't want to put out his flame in time and you get wrecked and it, it happens sometimes other times it doesn't happen I don't understand it I'm not an expert so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna ugh, I don't know it's like anything we do like costs money and you really don't want that to happen so let's just put this guy here and we're gonna go extra range frag bombs cluster bombs and I think that should be enough we'll test it out and hopefully you guys have some money left and if you do not unfortunately you might have to sell a farm but you should be okay or hopefully you didn't even have to do this and it just popped it open so he just doesn't get his flame in time now we're okay we're cool now that he has his flame you can sell that and grab your marketplace and go back to normal look at that he just sometimes just gets a little scared and doesn't want to perform, but you know, he did today. So now that with 2,900, what I'm going to do is I think that's enough. I always stop when it says three rounds left. I usually don't carry into round three. I'm not as sure of the exact efficiency of when the best to sell your farms. I really don't care to be honest because we're not going for that. We're just trying to get through it. So I just stop when it says three rounds left and I'm happy with the results. So now with one round left, don't get stressed, nothing like that. I'm going to show you a cool trick. I'm sure you probably already know it, but what we're going to do is we're just going to wait for the big guy to get on the screen just like so. And all you're going to do is you're going to hit escape. You're going to hit the gear button, whatever you do to go home you're just gonna hit home some people consider this an exploit and cheesy or whatnot but it really isn't guys the way i see it is is that especially for me i'm getting older i can't think that straight all the time you know and that's just too stressful to have to make all those decisions like on the fly so what this does is it actually allows you to enjoy it and bask in your awesomeness of making all this money and feeling good about yourself and then placing a you know, a strategic defense that will like, you know, best suit it. And I'm happy. We have $43,000. That's more than enough to beat the first round very, very quickly. And I'm happy with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a village here. Okay. And we're going to grab bigger radius, jungle drums, primary training. We do not need camo for tier one, but I'm going to forget to get it later. And again, this is a no stress run. So we're going to grab this overdrive. We're going to drive the track zone. And then we're going to grab this guy right here up to an embrittlement, just embrittlement, not super brittle. And then we're going to buy a ninja right here, just right there. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom sticky bombs. If you don't have enough for him exactly, because we were a little rough there, let's sell this guy. And worst case scenario, you don't have to go with this middle path camo. That's It's up to you guys. But this is just going to be super easy. You really don't even need embrittlement, guys. Just, just watch. Just watch. It's super easy. Look how fast that is. That's ridiculous. Mainly what it is, it's this guy and this guy, right? And 100% make sure to sell all your alchemists, because you cannot have your alchemists for this. That will be bad. Now, this is as fast as we need to go. I mean, it could be more faster. And it will be later, which will be kind of cool. But for now, this is more than efficient. I'm happy with it. I hope you guys are too. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look. We're at round 41, okay? We're going to sell a little bit of stuff here. We're going to give this guy back his alchemist. But just keep watching the rounds. That's important. We're going to get this one and this one, right? And then we're going to go back down here and place our farms waiting for round 42. Okay, so 42 is here. I didn't place my farm just yet. That's okay. We're gonna wait for round 42 and we're gonna hit home. And the reason why we do that is again, I need to take a breather guys. That was stressful to beat that first boss. I don't know about you guys, but I feel a little stressed. So I need to wind down a little bit, capture my composure and think about what we're about to do next. So 
what we are going to do is we're going to do this guy. We're going to grab uh, him back. We just do not need the big dog just yet. We don't need the tax zone. We just need him to beat the boss. So we're going to go up to overdrive faster shooting and we're going to leave it just like this. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to place one more right here in range of the village. So like right there. And the reason why is because what's going to happen is we're going to get some fortifieds and they're just not strong enough just yet. And so it costs a little bit more money to do this. And it's a little, you know, we don't need to spend this much money. But like I said, it's just, it's a little stressful. I'm not going to lie because you just, yeah, just like few balloons get here and you're just like, no, don't do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to what we did earlier, but I want to show you guys something cool. So make sure to place your first one just to get the little feel of it, you know, bottom left corner. Cool, cool. Now we're going to take this guy and we're going to run him in line with this track. So the bottom of the track, just like so, and just go like that. We're going to go double discount bigger radius and now this guy's discounted so when we buy this one it's super cheap we save 500 dollars or more on each one which is going to add up to be quite a lot so that's why we're going to get ready for these pixel perfect placements so we can fit everybody around the farm and have a good time so see just a little bit off it won't be there that's why you got to be just on the money and a little quick tip for those of you who did not know you can take your tower right place it on a red spot where he can't go click to the side of it or use your thumb if you're on mobile and drag it like this it's like pixel perfect movements and you're never going to mess up if you guys didn't know about that definitely do that and if it helped you hit that like button but now let's keep on putting our farms here guys we're gonna do the exact same thing we've been doing but we're just gonna keep farming and as you can see the fortifieds are cannot handle our awesomeness i was trying to say something cool but i just couldn't think of it on the fly so but they can't handle it these guys are gonna carry all the way to the next boss yes it's quite a bit of money but i really don't care so now uh we're kind of ran out of space here so we're just gonna keep placing anyway um, that was just to save a few bucks in the beginning to get those farms rolling. But now that we're making this money, they'll come faster than we need them to. And we're going to fill this entire screen, guys. This entire screen full of these guys. So we're going to go right here. We're going to grab this one too. Grab the marketplace. Grab the long life bananas. Grab the valuable bananas. And with six, seven, eight farms, what I would like to do here is I want to upgrade this guy to stronger stimulate. Just because we just want to make sure that we can hit everything. As you can see, uh, Ben is helping out with this Trojan. His Trojan is actually taking money from us. But that's okay. We'll be fine. We're gonna go up to marketplace, long life bananas, valuable bananas, and just literally fill up the entire screen, guys, everywhere. Hopefully you guys are placing as many as me. As you can see, I have a ton and you guys should have honestly more, cause like I said, I speed up. So I probably miss a few clicks here and there. Um, sometimes I forget to slow it down or I think I do. I'm not actually sure, but you guys should have just as many, if not more. Hopefully you guys are playing to your max efficiency. I mean, this might sound like it's a lot of work, but I mean, it really isn't guys. And you, some of you probably are watching like, I'm not going to do that just for a boss event. And I, I totally understand. I've been in that same boat, but why not just get the free stuff? Like I always say, play your odysseys, play the races, play the boss events, get those free monies, get those free trophies. And as long as you don't have to continue or nothing like that, it is going to be profitable for you as far as monkey money concerned okay i got i'm in round three or three rounds left so i am done farming i have a total of 23 farms i think that's pretty good this time guys so hopefully you guys have 23 farms or close to it uh, i'll try not to use all of the money this time because there's only a few towers i'm gonna go for so if it happens it happens okay now we're on round 60 lich is here and look we're actually doing pretty good with just those two overdrives which is pretty hilarious so just imagine how fast it's gonna go with all the money that we have right now it's pretty exciting so what we're gonna do you guessed it. We're going to sell everything. Now you're probably asking, do we have to sell everything? Not really. We don't need all this money, but um, it's just easier because we're not going to use these farms anymore. This is just how I get past tier two, tier three. We're going to step up our game because we want that apex for tier three. If we can get apex on tier three, this thing's just going to be cinchy. But now we got $142,000. That's more than enough. Make sure to sell your alchemist. Do not forget that part. Buy your embrittlement. Super brittle. Sorry, we're going big dog on this one. And then we're going to grab a mat and make sure he's in range of your village. If he's not, you can just take it off. Don't worry. We're going to go all the way up to that one right there. Just like that. Um, we have $20,000 left. This is more than enough to beat this guy. So I'm going to leave it like this in case you guys didn't quite farm efficiently enough. But what I am going to do, and this is what you guys should do as well, is you should get ready for the next round. So we're going to place our first farm. And just like we did earlier, we're going to place our village. We're going to run it with the bottom of the track. Go right here, a little bit up, a little bit up. Make sure when we double discount that he is in range and he is, so we're good to go there. Now, as I mentioned before, as soon as we beat the boss, we're gonna be on round 61, 62, whatever it is, we're gonna stop after that next round. But what you do wanna do is you do wanna start farming as quick as possible. So you can get some down or maybe upgrade one, you're gonna be in a good spot. So we're gonna immediately sell our mat. I'll show you guys all that in a minute here, but look at this, this is ridiculous. 
This is ridiculous, guys. Use that ability. Let's go crazy with it. Why not? Just go ridiculous. Okay, so this time what we are going to do is we are going to keep this tax zone. So we're not selling the tax zone. We are going to sell everything else, and then we're going to give our tax zone an alchemist, and that will more than enough carry for a little bit. So let's slow it down. We're on round 61. Watch your top right corner, and then we're going to go, okay, we are on round 62, so let's hit home, and now we're back. So what we're going to do here is we're going to sell this guy, and what for this guy, what we're actually going to do, it's going to seem a little bit like, it's going to not seem that good of an idea, but... I want to do it. So we're going to get this guy just to that one for now because we really don't need much. I'm just kind of for the, you know, the lead. But what's going to happen is we're going to get BFBs and you're going to notice our time up here getting pretty bad and it kind of upsets me. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this guy here to overdrive and this right here. So we are taking a lot of money from ourselves, which is kind of a dumb thing to do, but I don't care. We, we need to because what's going to happen is that red ticker just drives me crazy. We're going to have like 30 seconds on. I don't want that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go up to here. We're going to go all the way to the top and we're going to go like that one. We're going to do this again and just keep going around this area. And what's really cool about this is imagine doing this while all the balloons are coming out. You're going to be like 16 rounds in before your farms are fully placed and that could get stressful. So this just makes you like, you know, enjoy it. Have some fun with it kind of thing. But we don't have quite enough. So we're just going to keep moving right here. Let's go with banana research facility and just keep going around this whole thing like we did before. And while we're doing this we're also going to keep an eye on that little red ticker up there because if it does start to go up a little bit like let's say a bfb comes out and it just takes way too long what we're going to do is we're going to adjust a little bit we're going to add a village on there and maybe upgrade his alchemist a little more upgrade probably this one that makes some more sense he's up at the front and we're just what we're, our goal is is to have him just shred everything before it gets to our overdrive tax zone whatever you want to call it and then it takes down the rest of it so here we go with that last banana research facility and the reason why i say last is because we can't quite fit him in range of either of these right now so what we're going to do is we're gonna go up to Monkey Town, upgrade to Monkey City. Now we can place one right here. See that? Cool stuff there. We're gonna grab another banana research facility, valuable bananas, and place our final farm right here, as you can see in range. So right now we have what, like eight farms, six farms, eight farms, that's pretty good. So now that we have all of our farms ready to go, we can't fit any more in the range of this guy as he is currently, so we're just gonna save up $40,000. Now, again, I'm not the most expert, so I'm not 100% sure that this is actually gonna be like the biggest upgrade for us, because we only have eight rounds, but I feel like eight rounds is a good amount of time just to make a ton of money which is pretty cool stuff and look at we're just collecting some coin now for the next seven rounds that is pretty cool part of me wants to go for that big top dog and go for like a 520 just to maximize it even more but how fast would we actually possibly get it but we can't just stop farming we can't just be quitters right so let's just keep farming guys we can do this until again like the third round like we did before so we are on the third round i'm not going to finish this one so i have this guy with his eight farms and then I have this guy with another five farms, which is more than enough money. I did get another second on my timer. You guys might as well too. But at this point, it really doesn't matter. We're still gonna go for a pretty solid time here. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to afford Apex. I kind of want to, but at the same time, if I'm like 50, if I have like 50K left, sure, but I really don't want you guys to not have him because then I'd feel kind of bummed out that like, you guys would be like, well, well, what happened? What do I do now if I don't have the Apex? And that would be kind of a bummer. Now, I'm sure you saw that guy right there. Um, it kind of looked a little like it was going a little too far. Remember, you can always just hit home and restart that round. It is not that big of a deal. It's not that stressful. Now on multiplayer, if you're doing this in co-op, you obviously can't do all these resets that we do. You're going to have to do some other creative techniques. So uh, I'd recommend this just to do it on solo player, but you can use this if you're efficient enough just play it a little bit more safe if you're on multiplayer. Here we are on Lich, so let's hit that home button. Now, here's where we kind of have to deliberate and see what are, is in our best interest. Now, of course, we sell the Alchemist, and I'm going to sell all the farms around this guy and see what we're left with. So I have $260,000, and if I sell this guy, we're going to be looking at nearly four hundred and sixty. dollars so around $450,000 we're going to have. Now, given that the Apex only costs three hundred and fifty, dollars we can actually buy the Apex for this, and round three would just be ridiculous. Now, here's where you guys have to make the decision yourselves, though, because we can sell this, yes, and buy an Apex, and round three will be super easy, but then we have to do all of this again. So if you guys don't want to do all of this again do the exact same strat we did last time and you'll carry through it just fine add a fifth tier sniper to the top and just add whatever other defenses you can using the leftover 259,000 that we have and you'll carry through just fine but i i want to go big guys i want to go big or i want to go home right so we're going to get our first one right here we're going to go up to crossbow master we're going to go up to this guy and we're also going to get the middle path guy then we're going to go up to this guy and we're going to get the top path one 
And then we're gonna reevaluate our money because I wanna go for that fourth, fifth tier, that crossbow master, and get that cool little glitch that automatically sends you to round 30, because that's really cool too. But do we have enough money? This guy's at 190,000, and this one is at 160. So no, we do not. We have just enough money to get what we have here. With that said, I am gonna have to sell this guy, and I'm gonna have to buy this one. And you may have have to sell this too, and you may have had to sell this too and you only have a level one. So let's see what this guy can do on a level one. Now that's pretty awesome, guys, look at that. That is insane how fast that is, but I don't want that. You know why? Because we just had to sell everything that we had just to get that, and I just don't feel like that is the best case scenario for this. Yes, we're gonna get a really fast time, but then you gotta move your fingers quick and do all those weird stuff, so we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna take it simple, guys. We're gonna sell our alchemist. We're gonna buy this guy here. And now, when we go to the next round, we're gonna have so much money rolling, it's gonna be so, 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 so simple, which is what I like to see. So now we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna go up to here, go all the way up to the top, go like that. We're gonna grab a sniper here. We're gonna go all the way to the top. We're gonna go to the bottom just like that, put him on strong. And now this is enough just to wreck through the next tier. It's gonna be super easy stuff, but we want a little bit for cleanup. We wanna make this a little bit more fun and easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get one of my favorite towers here, guys. We're gonna grab the Avatar of Wrath. And he's just gonna shred through like nobody's business. So we'll go all the way to the bottom right there. And we're gonna get five of his buddies, just five. Let's put one, two, five. We're gonna get all of them down to the bottom. So 024, 024. And we still have $40,000 left. So what I'm gonna do here, just a little bit more cleanup, we're gonna get just a bottom path plane. Now, I hope you guys have as much money as me. If you do not, don't get the plane. You're just not gonna go as fast. It's really not that big of a deal. Watch this, guys. That's super fast enough. Like, again, we're not trying to go like super try hard. This isn't a top like 10 strat or anything like that, but it's more than fast enough to get through this thing and just to shred butter. Look at this thing go, this is ridiculous. And the best part about it is we don't have to like super stress and worry about it after we're done. Like if we sold everything for the apex, we're kind of like at a loss and we're like, oh no, what do we do? We have no money, blah, 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 blah. So now what we can do is we can sell our sniper, sell this guy, 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 sell this guy. I'm actually gonna leave everything else here. We really don't need that much money. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this, put this guy at the bottom. We're not even gonna stop the round, guys. I just don't, we don't need to. We don't need to. We're gonna have way more than enough money to shred through the next tiers like it's nobody's business. So we'll put that guy there. We'll just add some more farms. Why not? Let's just get super crazy with money. Let's just make way too much money. Might not be able to put that one up there, but again, who cares? One thing I did for getting all this coolness and amazement is this guy right here. Let's actually grab this guy and go to that middle path right there. Um, he's really not going to help out with the plane, obviously, but I mean, it'll help with this guy and this guy. And we're just going to clean up everything a little bit quicker because what we're trying to do now is avoid that timer. That timer can be very, very big at this late in the game because these ZOMGs and stuff just move so slow. So we've got to do our best to make sure that doesn't happen. So again, I'm going to keep farming, guys. I'm going to put, let's just go just maybe just the bottom path over here because we do need to get our apex going and I don't want to have to sell everything again. I'm kind of done with the whole selling thing. So I think we're just going to fill up what we can. Might have to sell a little bit of our farms, but I, if we do, I don't think I'm going to buy any more because, well, I'm lazy and I'm tired of doing all this crazy farming. Okay. I at least want 15 farms, right? Like we have 14 farms, the big farm, and then the of Opolis. I want 15 farms. How about that? 15. We can even go 20 if you want to and just fill up everything and just get super greedy. You guys want to get just like super greedy? Just go crazy? Nah, I don't. We don't need to do that, to be honest. We don't need to do that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to farm some pops, right? We're going to farm some pops with our dudes over here. So we're going to go like this. We're going to get this guy all the way to there. Get a crossbow master. We're going to grab another crossbow master and put him right here, right? Meanwhile, collect all your bananas because there's like way too many here. We are then going to get this guy. Did I choose an ability? What a dummy. All right, so we're gonna grab this guy right here. We're gonna go all the way up to primary expertise. And then we're gonna get this guy as well and get him to the top path. Okay, cool. So now we have enough to get going for our apex, but we're not quite there yet. We're gonna get that extra round 30. If you guys didn't know about that cool little glitch thingy exploit, whatever you wanna call it, it's super helpful for the, for the boss events. Let's use it while we can, guys. Um, we're gonna put our apex right here, okay? So like right there-ish. And the reason why is I want my ninja over here later. Uh, spoiler alert, we're gonna go for a ninja. So we're gonna get this guy all the way to a crossbow master. Now we need to make sure, I think I messed up. I think I added two crossbows already. We're not going for that, we're going for this guy. We're gonna put him right here. We're gonna go middle path, there we go. So now this guy, as long as you upgrade this guy, it should be level 30 off the bat, plus whatever else we got because we're farming those pops. So we're actually not going 
to buy him until like that round starts. And we're not gonna stop this round either. We don't need to. We're just gonna keep collecting our money, keep rolling. We have more than enough money. We are doing super, super solid. The only thing that we're gonna do between now and then is we're gonna take this guy and change his targeting to strong. And the reason why is because it makes the apex super, super better because he goes after the big guy himself. And then all of his cool little spike ball things just destroy everything and it's super simple. Here we go, Lich is out guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade this guy to apex plasma master, yes, do it. We're gonna hope that he's level 30 something, 32. I'm more than happy with that and just watch him rock this thing. You can buy more stuff. We have half a million dollars here, but again, guys, I am more than satisfied with that speed. I could care less. I think that is a super great speed and I'm happy with it. Um, I think you could like, you know, you could use your abilities and stuff like that, but who, who cares guys? Who really cares? Look at this thing shred. It's so cool. The only thing we did wrong is we left our alchemist here. Um, even with that alchemist. So I've been healing this whole time and he's still shredding. That's that's bad playing right there, but it's still working. You could sell, but you're gonna even lose some more health. So just, just let it be, guys. Just make sure to sell your alchemist each round and you will do so much better than I just did. But at this point, I don't care. It doesn't even matter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell this guy here. We're gonna sell this guy here. And guess what? We're gonna save up for the awesome, the cool Ninja Gaiden or Ninja Master. Grandmaster Ninja, there you go, there's his name. Ninja Gaiden, like I'm, I haven't played that game since I was like 15. All right, so the, the more difficult thing about this one is placing all of his little buddies and collecting all your farms. You really don't have to, like he's not gonna be like a super high level. What I've learned in my experience is, let's grab the Grand Saboteur while we can. Uh, what I've learned in my experience is that you sit here and you take three hours placing all these expensive monkeys down to make his level better. And then guess what? You're still only like level 30 and you're just like, what the heck was all that work for? That was super stressful. So we're not gonna be messing around with any of that junk, okay? We're just gonna be like taking our time, moving on. What we are gonna do is we are gonna get this guy to 20 of his buddies though, just for general purposes. And you might as well go the full distance for them to get that extra money for those degrees of the Paragon. But we do want him to be level 20. So I'm at 14 here. Let's see if this guy can do 15. The problem is that you just, different angles of the map give you different grip on it. So like that one's okay there, but like, like this, might hit it, but like the same on the opposite side wouldn't hit it, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna go like that, let's check it. It's only 15, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna go six, sell it, that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna sell it. All right, let's try that again, but this time we're gonna go Ninja Discipline. That'll give him that little bit of a boost to make it 16, there you go. Let's see if we can add some more here. So that guy's not even in range at all, so hopefully when we do this, we can get 17, there we go, 17. Uh, let's try this a different approach, let's go from the bottom maybe, because usually the bottom has like way less of a hitbox, so like that'll be, oh yeah, see, that's so weird. I don't understand why that works, but it, it helps me, you know what I mean? So we'll go like that, go up the top, oh my gosh, this a lot of work though right guys like this is a lot of work it's just because it's the last round so don't stress too much is that 20 yes we have 20 god we have succeeded now we need to place our actual ninja ascended shadow guy so we're gonna place him right here actually and we're gonna go all the way to what do we have left the bottom path there we go and we're gonna put him on first first we want him on first i almost put it on strong and that would have been not cool i guess it really wouldn't matter at this point but it just you know it wouldn't be as cool so now definitely don't stress I mean, we have, oh, I thought that was 135,000. We have 1.3 million. Are you kidding me? Why? Why do we have so much money? I don't even want that much money. All right, you know what? I'm just going to do it, guys. You guys don't have to do this, but it's just kind of fun. I'm going to fill up this whole little Dorito over here with these guys, and we're going to we're gonna upgrade them. We're just going to try to make this Paragon the best that we can. It's kind of an addiction at this point. I just told you how bad I don't like doing this and how it stresses me out. They only get like level 30, but then I end up doing this every time because like, what else am I supposed to do? Like, just sit here and wait? Like, I can't do that. I have... I can't, I just can't do that. Okay, now this next little bit, we're gonna just upgrade all of them to the bottom path, just like that. The bottom path costs more, so we're gonna get more money out of them because we're just going for as many, you know, they're up there getting their pops. We wanna up, get up there and get those like money spins. Now, if you guys can do this on mobile, go for it. I'm using my hotkey right now, a little backsplash in it, or backslash, and it's super, super quick. If you're on mobile, let me know if this happens to you, but when I super buy on mobile, they sell. I don't know what it is, but you'll like click too fast and it just sells it. So let me know if you have super fingers on mobile and that happens to you, but it's really cool on PC. You just kind of go like this and you just finish it up. Uh, we're gonna spend a lot of money here, but we have so much of it, who cares? Now for this one though, we are gonna actually, you know, kind of reset. And the reason why I wanna reset on this last guy, we could just roll through it, but I just kind of wanna like bask in the greatness of what we've done here and what we've achieved. And I just wanna feel good about how much money we've 
you know, Jeff bezeled up to the moon here and to see what we're working with because this just makes it more fun for me. Don't forget to collect all your farms, keep collecting, keep collecting. And we're just gonna spend some of this money, right? So here we are on 120, this guy just popped up. Let's do this. The last time we're gonna do this home click continue. I hope this video is not like six hours long. I feel like it is, but we'll see, I guess when we get there. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna buy the Ascended Shadow. Yes, we could probably buy more and fill this whole screen and get like two degrees on him, but I really just don't feel like doing that. So we're gonna get Ascended Shadow. 34. I mean, that could be worse, but you know, that's cool. That's cool. I just hope they get rid of this glitch soon in the Apex because it's just kind of underwhelming to buy all of that for the Ascended Shadow just to get 34. But a lot of it too, though, is because we have the fourth, fifth tier for the, you know, the Apex, but that, whatever. Now we have almost a million dollars. Let's sell everything and see what we're working with here. This is where it's kind of fun and exciting. You can go the VTSG, you can do all that kind of stuff. I mean, we could just do the VTSG, right? Do we have enough money? $1.5 million. Oh my gosh. So first things first, sell the alchemist. We can't screw up that again. And then we're gonna grab this guy here up to there. And then we're gonna grab this guy here. Now, what I kind of want to do is I want to go for a VTSG just because why not? But I don't think we have enough money, but I'm going to try it, guys. I'm going to try it. So we're just going to place a super here. I don't think he'll suck those guys up, right? That would be kind of a bummer. And we'll go for this one here. No, no, no. We don't want to support temple. We want the we want the super beast temple, the best temple ever. We're going to go for this temple right here. So we're gonna blah, 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 blah. And then we're going to go up to this guy and we're going to go. Blah, 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 blah. And then of course we're gonna get the alchemist. We're gonna go. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now we have enough to buy this guy. Um, but first, you know, why not save some money here, right? So we're gonna buy this guy. And why we're doing this is because it'll actually save us money. It's crazy, and I, I just want to do it. So we're gonna do this, this, this. Boom! Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Look at that. We just saved like a bunch of money. That's crazy. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we'll buy the Sun Temple. Okay. Okay. There we go. I think we can actually afford it, or no? Right? Let's just buy the True Sun God because I don't want to like not have enough. Because I mean, this guy alone is like two million dollars. You know, I think we might just have enough. I'm gonna go for it. I don't care. I'm gonna go for it, guys. I can do this all the way to the top. Let's do it. I'm a little scared to be honest because I feel like we're going to get all this way and not have enough, but I'm rocking with whatever we got at the end. I could care less at this point. We're the best and we're going to do it, guys. We're all we're all in this together at this point. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that, guys. We have just enough for it. Let's do it. VTSG time. Did I forget something I probably did? I usually do. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, we did it. OK, I'm happy. I'm more than happy. Cool, cool, cool. Let's buy some stuff for this guy. Just make sure he can see camo. You know, he has bigger radius, all that good stuff. Oh my gosh. Do I have enough for this one though? No, it's because it's not a support temple, huh? Oh, bummer. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we'll sell this guy then. How about that? We'll sell him, we'll grab that one. I'm happy. We have a VTSG. We have the Ninja Ascended Paragon. We have the Apex, we have a Mad, we have a... Okay, I'm done, I'm done. We're just, we're just gonna do this. I can't take it anymore. Okay, that's Shred, that's Shred City right there. I am curious to see who has the most pops at the end. Let me know in the comments below before we finish who you think has the most pops, Apex, Ascended Shadow, or the VTSG. Uh, granted, the Apex did have the whole last boss fight on his own, so he's going to have you know probably a lot of pops, but I guess it's between the VTSG and the Ascended Shadow. And let's see what our time is here, guys. We generated $3.4 million and popped 21 million in balloons. I'm pretty happy with that. And we got five minutes and 34 seconds. Okay, that is not much different than the time that I tried super, super, super hard and only got 445. So with that said, guys, let me know what place you guys got. You should be in the top 500 with that time. I can't exactly tell you, but you guys are gonna let me know below because I can't see it on mine and I really do wanna know. Did this video help you get a good spot and what spot did you get? The VTSG definitely did a lot more damage than Ninja Paragon, that's for sure. And the Apex did more, but the Apex also had a whole boss fight ahead of him, so I'm not exactly sure on that. But VTSG is stronger than this guy, but he also costs way too much money. They both cost way too much money. I'm happy with it. We did really good. Let me know what place you guys got below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.